What's up guys? I got something new for the kitchen today. Um, it's called the Drop Block. I bought it off Amazon. And um, it's for knife storage. Um, I got some new knives over Christmas. These are my old KitchenAid set. I got uh, a global uh, chef's knife and uh, I've had some more expensive knives sitting around. And I wanted to put them somewhere in the kitchen and not in my knife my regular knife block so I was planning on actually putting a magnetic strip right here um, as I didn't want to drill into these uh, backsplash tiles I didn't want to damage it um, and then decided not to um, because of these pots it might be a little dangerous um, if knives were sticking upwards here and then someone's getting a pot so I decided not to do that and I found the drop block just searching for um, knife storage and uh, this showed up um, I'll be placing this under the cabinet here and um, we'll see how it goes let's go ahead and see what's inside this box let's see how the Installation's gonna go on this. Um, hopefully, it's uh, pretty simple and just uh, okay work for just one person to install. Hopefully, the uh, box is pretty light. It's less than it's only a couple pounds, so it shouldn't be too much stress on the cabinet. So here it is. The chart, the drop block. Got four screws, so pretty simple. Very, uh, very light, and uh, let's see how it goes. So this is uh, American-made product. Um, hopefully, the quality of this is a little better, a lot better than the stuff you'd find uh, mass-produced from China. I think I will end up painting this to match the cabinets. Let's get some really strong springs and uh, let's uh, see how it will fit here. So I'm thinking of just placing it right here under and it looks like let's see I gotta light under here. Let's see if it will fit. It looks like I don't have enough space for this. Hmm. Under my cabinet. I measured it for this, but it's not the right size. I got a maybe a quarter inch of space. Oh, I don't know if I could shave this down if I want to shave it down. Yeah, it's too big to fit in my cabinet. Um, let's see how strong the magnets are. I really like the design of this, but if I can't use it, I won't be <laughs> If it doesn't fit, then I won't be able to use it in my cabinet. Here's my global knife. There's plenty of fit on here. See it? So you got a pretty strong magnet. Hmm. Now it's all about finding the spot for it. Hopefully I don't have to return this back to the manufacturers or to... I really don't want to pay shipping because I did measure it and it measured out fine. Let's see if it fits in under this side. Here I will have no problem but I don't want it here. I measured this and I had uh, 
from the measurements, I had an extra space. Oh well, I guess I will have to install it over here on this side. Because it fits there. Oh, well, here's where I installed it. Because this cabinet is uh, a little longer. And there you go. Pretty safe and sturdy, and uh, like any other, like any other um, thing that's you have to do underneath something. This was pretty, uh, especially in the space, this confined space. It was kind of hard to install, but it got there, and I think it looks pretty good. It's uh, loaded with li knives now. Here it is with two of the sharpest knives in my collection. A shun paring knife. And a global chef's knife. And yeah, these magnets are really strong. Barely, uh, it's even hard to take them off of it. So, boom. Nice and safe away from everybody who can't really handle the sharp knives and I still got this chopping block or this knife block with my old kitchen aids so uh, people who visit our, my kitchen can use those while well, these are saved for the real cooks so here is the block knife block after a couple days um, I painted it and I added felt so that it's not so rough on the knives because the metal was up on over the magnets so the knife was hitting the magnets or the metal on this so um, I got some felt um, and uh, put it over and uh, it's a little smoother now. So now I just need to get a couple more knives and fill this drop block up. And uh, use the underneath. I also added, changed the handle up to match my cabinets at home. I had uh, one left over or a couple left over and uh, just uh, switched out perfectly. I guess that's a universal size for these handles, for these cabinets and stuff. So uh, that was pretty easy. And a couple layers of paint to match the cabinets. Well, there you go. There's uh, how I did my drop-down knife uh, block.